In the words of the starfish from Finding Nemo, today's the day! Okay, so the Jigglypuff is at level 40. Or f level 50. There we go. We're going to do one match against progressively higher tier amiibo that I have and see how optimal this rollout thing really is. I, I threw him in a couple of arenas, actually, and he kind of got murdered. So that was fun. I will say, did I ever teach him sing? I'd, I'd have to go back through the footage, but I don't think I did. The, the next variant of Jigglypuff that I plan on training is going to use Sing. So, if he, it's already built in, dude, what are you doing? If it's already built in, that would be not that helpful. Because <laughs> then it means that the, the, the behavior for Sing would then be predetermined and I wouldn't be able to impact how he uses it. Hello. I didn't teach him back air either. So one thing I did notice is that sometimes he will SD with rollout. So that is something you have to be careful of. And and maybe it only happens in arenas. I don't really know. I, don't, I only ever saw it in arenas. But he does sometimes SD with rollout, at least in arenas. <laughs> it's interesting that he doesn't realize that he needs to release it when the opponent gets close. He, he seems to hold it when Fox runs up to him sometimes and then release it other times. I'm very curious as to how the AI... Oh, oh, okay. There's a p potential SD. No, I guess not. Um, I'm very curious as to how the AI thinks its, its hitbox works, you know? Because they have hitbox information programmed in, but it's different for different moves. So, like, you, you understand the hitbox. Where Jigglypuff goes, the hitbox goes, right? But for Jigglypuff, it thinks of the hitbox like beforehand so i'm curious um what it considers to be the hitbox that was a very smooth um down smash to dash attack do you notice that wouldn't that be interesting if down smash to dash attack was built in on jigglypuff that would that would be one of the most unexpected follow-ups i'd ever seen at least pre-programmed ones I love how he's using it on the platform for no reason. So if you look at AmoebaDoctor.com, um, go to the tier list, you're going to notice that Fox and Jigglypuff are both in the same tier. They're pretty low. So I don't consider this to be an outrageous match result. Although it is looking like Jigglypuff is going to win. He missed the rest. You don't see a lot of that. It's interesting that they, they, they had to have programmed rest to occasionally miss. I can't imagine that um, with such a small hitbox he would miss it. I mean, shoot. I don't know why you would program it to miss, because he's horrible of an amiibo. He's a not great amiibo. But... Okay, so next up is going to be uh, Mewtwo, who I believe is like C... No, I'm sorry, not this Mewtwo. Um, I just realized I don't have a good enough Mewtwo. We'll try, we'll try my Rosalina then. We'll go to FD. If you're enjoying this video, or if you're learning something about Jigglypuff, or both, you can do both, that's fine. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you think of my hairstyle, or my shirt. This is one of my favorite shirts. I really like this shirt. It's a good shade of blue. I would look better in a fit if I had 30 pounds less on me, but that's fine. We'll get there, right? We'll get there. So Rosalina, I want to say, is in C plus tier off the top of my head. So she's a bit higher than Jigglypuff and Fox. Now, unlike Fox, Rosalina is, is a bit aerial, actually. She does a lot of ground-based behavior, but most of it's intended to follow up. Oh, there's an SD. Most likely. That's interesting that she's able to recover offline, but not online. So this, this play style and matchup is going to be different. Also, Rosalina... Okay, dude, what are you doing? The nice thing about the SDing with Rollout is that he can still make it back in most cases. 
I don't know what I'm looking at here. Apparently, if he... So he... Oh, that's a horrible problem to have. So Jigglypuff likes to use rollout when falling, and he likes to use all five of his jumps. So sometimes he misses the stage entirely, it looks like, and then just goes and Estes. What a horrible problem to have. Like, you're already a horrible character, and this one thing that looks like it might be optimal, just... That's just unfortunate, you know what I mean? Like, that's really, really unfortunate. He's gonna do it again. Maybe. He didn't use all his jumps. So if, if rollout causes SDs sometimes, at the very least, an incredibly stalling Jigglypuff. My goodness. What are you doing, Rosalia? <laughs> if rollout causes SD sometimes, we might have to use Sing. Sing would actually be really good through like battlefield platforms, because then you could short hop into Sing or something along those lines. Luma being in front of Rosalina also really protects Rosalina. It's sort of like a functional back shield against rollout. Like, see right there, right there. Jigglypuff uses rollout, Luma takes the hit instead of Rosalina. This is still a lot closer than I was expecting. This Rosalina has won tournaments, so... Tier restricted tournaments, I'll admit. I think it was like B plus tier or lower, something like that. I'd have to look it up. There's that dash attack again. I could see dash attack being good on Jigglypuff. You you would expect that Jigglypuff would be, you know, an aerial destroyer, because that's how the character is designed. But the way the character is designed doesn't always mean that that's how the amiibo should play. The Belmonts are a great example of this. Is this going to happen? This might just happen. Jigglypuff might just beat this Rosalina. Okay, all right. All is right with the world again. Okay. No, that's just, that's interesting. That's very interesting. That's, um, that's very interesting to me. We're still going to move him up against a higher tier. We're going to put him against Marth now. I think Marth is higher tier. I sure hope so. Actually, we'll put him against Dr. Mario. I know Doc is a higher tier. Very interesting. That was close. That was actually really close. So it seems rollout spam probably would be a lot better um, against grounded opponents and a more grounded Jigglypuff. I'm pretty sure I did not jump a whole lot against this Jigglypuff is the thing. So I don't know why he's jumping so much. Could just be built in. I know um, the Kirby amiibo also has this problem. What are you doing, dude? Where sometimes he'll just use all five of his jumps for no reason. Yeah, my Dr. Mario being very grounded is not helping him a whole lot right now. He's he's probably not that good anyway. I I'm using the amiibo tier list as a rough estimate of how good the amiibo are, but like I have a cup oh dear. That was amazing. That was a great recovery, Dr. Amiibo. No, um my amiibo are not necessarily as good as the ones indicated on the tier list, you know what I mean? Okay, so uh, maybe down smash on Jigglypuff might be good. Do some down smash, do some dash attack. Sing to down smash might work. I, I want to say, just off the top of my head, I want to say down smash comes out faster. The angle that it sends at is really good. It's, it's basically like a fox's shine angle from melee. I mean, that's a really good angle. Interesting. When I trained this Jigglypuff, 
I fully charged rollout every time. I never half charged it. But it's not it's not clear to me how the AI decides whether or not to half charge rollout or not. Because sometimes it'll do that. Sometimes it'll fully charge. Fully charging is best for KOing up, obviously. So we beat the Dr. Mario. It's not that good of a dog. Alright, we'll put him up against Link now. If you're still watching, and you still haven't subscribed, come on, what are you doing? You gotta sub, man. I've been doing this for ten minutes. You've been enjoying this for ten minutes. You gotta sub. Uh, Link? Yeah, we'll do Link. This will be the last one. We will see how well this works. So, so rollout spam is not a bad idea, it's looking like. Um, could be better, right? Probably is going to have a hard time against projectiles. I mean, everybody has a hard time against Link Boomerang, let's be real. But rollout spam might not be that bad of an idea. Unless that happens and he just goes straight to the blast zone because he's bored. Now, he only tried rest that one time. Did you notice that? He, he tried rest once and missed it. And that's probably good, because I don't think I did a lot of rest with him. So. Hello, what is this? How do you... The one successful sing obviously sing probably isn't built in but the one successful how do you screw that up obviously at some point um they they changed the uh hitbox locations for up smash without changing it in the amiibo ai or maybe they ported it over from smash 4 where it had different hitboxes i don't know but how <laughs> you don't smash no, I never taught him to use smash attack, so he's just going to use, you know, whatever comes up and is the most likely. So that's kind of all you can do, you know what I mean? Down smash, of course, would be much better. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely getting the feeling that he does not know where his up smash is. Now, I've theorized before that Pound might be good, because Pound eats shields, but Amiibo don't shield as much as they used to in the early meta. So, while that would probably work against the Japanese scene, I don't anticipate that that would be incredibly... Is this thing going to beat a Link? My Link. It's a good Link. It's not an optimal Link, but it's a good one. It's won tournaments. Placed very well in others. Oh, you know what? Silly me. I forgot about Amiibo being totally dumb and completely going straight for the Blast Zone. My bad. <laughs> I'm going to have to try this out against other people's amiibo. Because, you know, my amiibo play a certain way overall. They have different movement patterns. and You want to get other people's amiibo because their amiibo are going to play different. But still, this is ludicrous. If this works, oh my god, that would just be silly. I don't know what I would do if this works. That makes sense that rollout would work, though, because if the opponent shields, he's just going to go behind him, you know, and he's pretty much unjuggleable, so he's probably still going to get him. Who's the asshole honking in the background? Oh... That close, dude. Okay, so rollout spam Jigglypuff might be weird and inconsistent, but it might also be viable. Oh my god. I mean, who was that close? Yeah, this is something we're gonna have to try out, that's for sure. Oh man, I'm gonna have to do an arena with this thing. Well, thank you for watching. Um, dang, if you haven't yet, visit AmoebaDoctor.com. We have, like, two and a half years of awesome Amiibo stuff on there. Um, and also, I've written a few things, too. Get it, because there's a dip. All right, whatever. Have a good one, y'all.